Did you guys see the numbers on last week's episode of The Insiders? Well, we set the record for most page views in the show's history. You know, maybe that's why I'm getting all these endorsement offers. You got those too? My whole inbox is flooded with that crap. I've got so many, I might have to hire an agent. Endorsement offers? What do you guys know about making commercials? Maybe we uh, ought to have Corey help us out with this. Hey, Corey, question for you. Yeah. You ever shot a commercial? Yeah, why? Because we're trying to get this money, and all these ad agencies, they want to see a couple clips before they hire us. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, yeah, nothing, nothing at all. Hey, can you shoot something or not? Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll do it. I'm Mike Vandermoss, he's Rob Domofsky. We're here for the two minute drill. Rob, let's do this. I'm ready. Question number one, Mike McCarthy got a little animated today when I asked about the low number of snap, snaps by Donald Driver. Mm -hmm. That surprise you at all? You know what, I think that he's just basically, um, he knew the going into the season that that was gonna be an issue all year. The first week James Jones didn't get any action so he was asked about it, totally fair question. Then Jermichael Finley has a game where he has three touchdowns and then the next week doesn't get any action and Finley's the one who brought it up, not the media. Now Driver hardly played, and, and it got brought up. So it's been an issue three times. We've only really brought it up twice. I, I just I think he's a you know he anticipated a problem that maybe isn't as bad as he thinks it is. All right, Rob. Question number two uh, involves the offensive line. Mm -hmm. Chad Clifton's going to be out for a significant amount of time. Are they perilously thin on that line? I don't think that they're any worse off this week than they were last week as long as Bulaga is ready to play. Now, he uh, got back into practice, worked on a, a limited basis. As long as they have him, I think they'll be okay. But if you were without Bulaga and Clifton, which Clifton's going to be out a long time, then I think you're in real trouble. If you have Bulaga, you stick him at right tackle, you play Newhouse at left, and then you still have Sherrod if one of the, those guys goes down. So you're in exactly the same position that you were in going into last week's game. Finally, Rob, let's take a look at the Rams. The Packers are 15-point favorites. That's unheard of in the NFL. Is there any scenario that you can foresee where the Packers could lose this game? I mean, you wouldn't think so. Um, the only thing you wonder is at 5-0 at and o with two really bad teams coming up on the schedule before the bye, uh, St. Louis this week and at Minnesota the next week, do they look ahead of that bye? I think even if they did look ahead, even if they got caught you know, peeking at the schedule and, and looking at their time off, this team's so bad in the secondary. I mean, they, they've lost, I think it was a half dozen corners since the start of training camp, that even if they play poorly, they're still going to be able to abuse them in the passing game with all the weapons the Packers have. I just don't see any scenario, even if they don't come out fired up, that they lose this game. For Rob, I'm Mike. We're out. We have a special gift for you. Oh. <gasps> Hello, Edith. Want to take Aaron Rodgers with you? Oh, my. Was that part of the deal? Hello, Rachel. Want to take Kareem Copeland with you? Oh, my. I'm so glad this is part of the deal. So, one down, two to go. Through the generations, uh, you know, Ford's been right there with our family, and, and a lot of memories um, have involved Ford trucks. Owning a truck is, is something that, that I always wanted to do since I was a kid. The toughest team in town just got a little tougher. You wish through the generations, Mini Coopers have been right there with our family, and a lot of memories have involved Mini Coopers. I mean, who wants to own a truck? Owning the smallest car possible is something I always wanted. It had to be a Mini. The smallest team in town just got a little smaller. Mini Cooper proudly welcomed Rob Domofsky to its lineup.